maintaining your PC with CCleaner, download and install tutorial. How to download CCleaner to clean your system and make it much more faster. Open your favorite browser. In this case, I'm going to show you with Google Chrome. Type Google. In the search box, you can type CCleaner download for Windows 7. You can click on the very first link to a new tab. Once the page is loaded, you can click on CCleaner download now. You will be directed to this page and the download will get started. You can click this icon over here and click show in folder. Now the very first link is the downloaded executable file. Double click that. A wizard will be opened. Make sure language English is selected or your preferred language. Click next. You can see there are a lot many options over here to customize at the time one installation is completed. How this installation should go through whether you want a shortcut in your desktop or on the below task manager so it's up to you i prefer to have one desktop shortcut but in this case i'm not interested in click on install this will take few seconds now the installation is completely done you can do these two actions prior to opening it i just wanted to see run cleaner starting so i don't want to read anything click next in this case it is trying to keep some of the cookies from your browser so that you will have a faster web experience. So I don't want to clean that one. It knows what cookies needs to be deleted, what to be preserved. So the better option, if you don't want to do any mess up, click yes, a recommended one. Now this is the first view of CCleaner application. Towards the left, you see what all the cleaning options. By default, it has some of the checks, some are unchecked. Right now, I don't want you to do any mess up with that. Only advanced users, after using much experience with this, can try different options. But right now, I'm going to show you without that. You can see that there is a run cleaner down. You can either click that or you can go with analyze command. So what's the difference between these two? I'll explain that. Analyze is a kind of doing all the job, but finally it won't remove anything. It will just provide you with some report. The report shows you whether what are the files from which application it's trying to delete. So I prefer clicking this analyze button prior to going with run cleaner. It's like you don't do any changes in your system, but simply do some checking on it, checking your system in detail. This will take more time. This is first time we are running it. So obviously it will take for 10 minutes or even more based on your system configuration. But further runs might go a bit slower. To speed up the process, I'll leave this one for a while. Now you can see that a report is provided to you and this green bar completed 200%. So this is what I was talking about, the report. Here you could see different applications and the second column will give you how much space it's trying to reclaim. And this system temporary files is constituting the higher value and followed by a little bit of Firefox related temporary files but another one is the topmost listed that is Internet Explorer but in your case you might see different report my intention to show you is how the analyze command will work and how much space it will be reclaiming since this won't reclaim right now unless you click on this run cleaner so this is only a report right now so you can simply exit from this C cleaner to do untouching anything or if you want to run if you want to clean up your system then this is the button you need to go to clicking on run cleaner you'll get a pop-up warning message that this process will permanently delete all the files from your system which is reported over here so this message i don't want to see it again because i'll be educated so i click on that and click ok now this will take a few more minutes to get it deleted this is much faster than your analyze command though but still you need to have some patience to get it completed at the end you again see the report it's done now you can see how much amount of space has been removed 2.128 mb it's almost 2 gb but can i run this analyze command again and again yeah there is no limit for that you can run as many times as possible until your system is completely safe so thanks for watching this video hope you will have a better experience with ccleaner it's a very good free utility to use and to maintain your system keep watching wanted to see more such videos please subscribe this channel thanks again